Okay, well it is 3 a.m. in Superliminal. So we are back where we left off in the room. We're smacking the button and we're not going to be surprised by what's behind us. God dang it. Every... Uh, I, I was not... It's funny, I was like... I, Emergency exit oh. protocol initiated. Oh. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10... Nine. What? Eight. Error. Oh no. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. What? Stand by for analysis. Okay, I'm gonna keep walking. Oh man. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. Yes. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to uh, correlate with a AI decrease bring in us. these emotions. Oh, thank God for you, Minnesota. Okay, projector screen. That many so I'm setting you down right there. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Conclusion. Impossible. Okay. Reformulating. Good job. I just I'm gonna carry Minnesota with me. Okay, Minnesota, you're the one. You make caffeination so much fun. Hypothesis. Patient requires additional Somnasculpt therapy. Ooh. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Whoa. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. Minnesota, be my sentinel. Instruction. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Okay. Ha! Ah! Well, I guess that's the end of the episode because we do that every time we come to this room. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you. We're going to keep playing, obviously. Uh, push the button. Turn around. Doors. Whoa. It was closed a second ago. Okay. Man, this game is just getting weird on me. Ah! Um, door open. No! No! I know the choice I must make. That's right. I know your game, game. I'm going back to sleep. I'm just not gonna leave this room. Ha! Ah, it's my strategy for dealing with alarms in real life. It's paying off. I am a genius. Um, should have worked by now. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! I'm being orienteered. Okay. We're on the roof, but that's okay. We control our altitude and rotation now. But we cannot travel two-dimensionally. Hmm. Can we turn around? That's not... Oh, no! Hello? What the... Okay. Oh, potluck! Oh, thank God. I am starving. I would love some mayonnaise and carrots, so I'm glad they have that. Uh, diet soda. No, I want mini soda. I'm a mini soda drinker, people. I put that on the card. Jeez. Ah! Darn it. Okay, we're back here. Whoa. But now the grate is gone. The gate. Oh, no. Now reception's gone. Oh no. Um I'm trapped. Uh 
Oh no. Ominous music. Stay back, music. I have a gun. Can't see it, because it's in my pocket at waist height. The optimal position to be shooting a gun from. Okay, let's focus. I'm clearly supposed to do something. Anything? No. Is that anything? No. Don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, whoa. Hello. Oh, brilliant. You know, I was like, oh, that sky block that I keep seeing everywhere. I hate it. Well, now I hate it even more slightly. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay, Dr. Glenn Pierce, get me out of here. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Oh. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Okay. Thanks, Glenn. I'm just gonna keep pulling these. Okay. Yes, I see what's happened. What is that? What is that? What? What is that? What? What are you? No! 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 Okay, it's a pawn, people. It's a pawn. Minnesota. Yeah, my only friend. Yes! No! I'll save you, Minnesota! Uh. Oh, man. We have some aggressive gravity going. Exit sign. No, can I grab the door? Oh, there's an exit there. Huzzah! I'm a genius. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Let's go! Oh, this is this is really starting to hurt my brain. I'm glad I'm not doing this in VR. One. It's been real. I'm tired of, of feeling course, unnerved. Nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective. Agreed. That Apple thing really taught me that. That really did it. In a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Okay. Here we go. Oh, hey, we're back to basics. Baby, come on, block. No! No! Oh, that was br that was brilliant! Oh my gosh! Ah! I love you, game. I mean, I also hate you, because you scare me, but in a much more real sense. I love you, game. Is their boss music? Why is boss music? Get away from me! 
Get away from me! I'll kill you all! That's a chair! It's evil! Okay. I'm out of here. See you later, suckers! I have the elevator now. Oh, that's not great. That's fine. We'll just, um... Ah! Every time. Just every time. Hall 01. No trespassing. Perception is not reality! Oh, no. Oh! What's that? Elevator back? Nope. Oh, wait a minute, I think I just saw something. No, I did not. Maybe I did. Recycling is for cardboard only. Hall 2. The exit is this, this way. Perception is not reality. But then we can turn this way and we can leave again. Why are there weird noises? Exit this way. Hall three. Hall four. No! I don't understand. This will be buzz. Yep, bad buzz. So we've reset to hall one. But now the arrow is not pointed the right way. How do I make you point the right way, arrow? Yep. Got it. Yes, I understand. So now if I look this way, it'll be nothing. What? Got it. Okay, I have to look the opposite way. Then the exit appears in the direction I don't look, thereby making reality perceivable in the Ultraplex. I am a genius. And here I was worried how they would stick the landing. And it's being st- Oh gosh, we're in a GTA Online Super Bunker. Anyways. Duck! Oh, that's not a duck. It is a duck! Ah, oh, thank God, duck, you're here. Duck, I love you. Duck, I'm pregnant with your children. Duck. No! You drowned. Okay. Oh. What? Oh, hi. Don't do that to me, block. Don't freak me out like that. Ah, oh, the Batsy Castle's back. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, get a Minnesota. Hold the line, Minnesota. It's you and me now. Ah! No! Minnesota! <laughs> <laughs> now I'm all alone. Uh, no. 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 While we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, uh -oh. even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Killed the Minnesota. It's just me now. It's just me! Oh, we're back here. This is one of the, like, early levels, isn't it? Hello. What is this? Huh. Interesting. There are probably so many secrets I have missed. It's prob- Ah! Oh look, it's the first normal door in the game. Ugh. Okay. Let's get out of here. Back to 
this mess again, all right? Ah! Oh, man. It's just getting weird. This is getting really... Wow, no! Ah! Ugh! Man, if I was doing this in VR, I'd be so upset right now. Ah! What the? What the? Okay, wait, here's an arrow. Go this way. Go that way. Go that way. Okay. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. I'm glad that, you know, oh, come on. This is brilliant game programming, by the way. Okay, good, we're in the parking lot. Um, does anybody remember where we parked? Uh, it's a black Mazda Miata. Um, Yeah. It's black. It's the NC facelift. No? Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna go over to this shack and ask the parking attendant. Uh, maybe they've seen it. Okay, let's wake up. I think that did it. Oh, I think that did it. Loading? Oh, no! We're back in the cartridge days where you don't know if it's loading or not. Oh, we did it! Maybe. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Oh, my gosh. Patients do not have access to this dream. Well, too bad. Paradox behavior, music too dang loud, a scent of burnt curry. Also, ask Ryzen Medical for increased canister order. What's, why do I need a canister order? Diagnostic warning, unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. Okay. Well, there's Conception, which is, uh, weird. <gasps> Minnesota! Minnesota, are you alive? Minnesota! No! No! <laughs> oh. Oops. Okay. Gone in here, so now we're in here. Excellent. All is turning out well. Okay, this isn't working. How do I get out of here? Is there like a one of these was boarded up there's no way I already walked this through this many right man now I'm confused I feel like I have to do the thing where I made it small oh I know what I have to do yes I can live in tiny There we go. Yes. Okay. Wait. How does this work? Then I come this way. No, wait. Uh, 
You stay there. Oh gosh. Whee! Oh man. Diagnostic uh, warning. I've Paradox committed to this. Calls may not be fully implemented. Implemented. I should not have committed to this. This was a mistake. This definitely, uh... Is this our sprint button? No, my friends. Okay, well... Away we go! Um, thus far... This is the only problem I have with the game. This is it. The, the only problem I have is, is this right here. This is the only time I've run into something where it's like, maybe... Maybe they shouldn't have designed this particular hell. Um, I don't think I don't think I've done this right. I think there's a way to do it better. Um, I could be wrong, but also, why does I have a skull and crossbones on it? Maybe I did do it right. Maybe I was supposed to see this, but I don't think so. These textures aren't rendering super well. Do not turn around. Do not turn around. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Okay. Implemented. Rice cakes and assorted candies. Uh, I wonder what that graphs out to. I'm just going to quickly memorize it. Donna. Although it looked like some sort of polynomial formula, so I don't know. Okay. I'm almost out. Oh, I'm gonna be so small in the next life, too. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No! What? I have broken the game! Oh no! Um. Am I going back down? Slowly. Okay. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Hi, I understand that game. I, I, I think what's happened. Uh, we'll reset a checkpoint. Oh my gosh, okay. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonascal Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state states. Stop this being dumb. Okay, cool. We go this way. Pick you up. Put you down on the table. Okay. Put you there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Out the door. Into this door. Look, gravity hasn't suddenly reversed itself. To fit you back. Okay. Don't want to fall off the edge. Out. Oh, 
No, click into place, game. It's not into place. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Okay. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do now. AKA don't do it never. Um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. Got it. Got it, 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 got it. Got it. No, not that big. I have to grab this and go through the door. <laughs> I can't believe that took me so long. Everybody is shouting at it. Explosive tree overload. Okay, result. Please paradox overload. Para Paradox. Paradox. Yes. Oh man, I can't. I was trying to line up the door in the conception area with uh, the like model, and because that just seemed like the logical thing. But I, I didn't realize that her yapping on was a clue. I I don't know. It didn't help that I hit that like bug. Whoa, no, I'm gonna choose this one. I'm choosing the white one. The light one is, um. Cool, it's not real. It's just the Fortress of Black Darkness, so that's good. Here's the parking lot. Not an exit. Well, too bad. I'm coming. I'm leaving through this exit. Oh, no. Now I'm falling. Fix. Okay. There we go. Yep. Doctor, give me the news. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. Okay. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. Okay. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. Okay. White space. Glenn, you're insane. But now I have all the mini soda I can drink. So I'm happy. Glad I'm at peace. I'm also not a barbarian. So I'm gonna recycle my mini soda. Just like you should recycle your mini sodas. I got an achievement for that. So we can all be a little happy. Okay, let's go into the white. Which is only terrifying because I recently watched The Terror, the first season of it anyways. Which I thought was really good. Um, yeah. There's a lot of, a lot of, I think, failing on the part of current writers and directors at getting dread right. Um, and I think The Terror manages to pull it off. Not as maybe well as it could, but also it would be exhausting if it, like, was nothing but dread building over and over and over again. So, you know. Oh. Whoa. Okay. I will say, in playing this, this has now become a classic case of, um, game too long. Honestly, where I was running around, um, that one area where I had to choose right and left, I felt pretty exhilarated and, like, ready to... Um, ready to end. 
Like it felt, it felt good. And this just feels, um, confusing. I'm not saying that because I'm running through a completely black hallway or anything. Yeah, that's what I thought. space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Okay. This is made by the same guy that did the Beginner's Guide and Stanley Pair. I'm looking that up. I bet it, it is, it is, because like, watch, we're gonna flip this and black and credits. Oh, ta-da, ta-da. Yeah, I'll leave it to that guy to make a game 20% too long. Not really 10% too long. Probably. Okay. Oh man, I'm still playing. Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna calm down. It's just, I don't know. It seems like we've been trying to exit for forever. What the? What the? Okay, and then we come over here, and then we run up this. Here we go! No! fine if the music wasn't just like upsetting me. Okay, we can only red, red, blue. Okay, let's see if that changes. Okay, red, red, blue, that. Okay, so if I do this again. Yes. So we're coming to the same space each time. Nope. Oh my gosh, I am... I am stuck on this one, everybody. Nope. 
there's something to do with this? I could get the game to like flicker and see. Like that's something, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is I'm supposed to be doing. I don't understand, game. You've you've abandoned me. The game really has abandoned me. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to look this up. I feel bad, but I'm stuck. And it's okay to look things up when you're stuck, especially when you're stuck in super liminal, I suppose. So let's see. Super liminal black loop room. Okay. Uh, how to beat level eight. Okay, blah, 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 do that. Um, okay. Uh. Okay. Okay, wait. You will find yourself in a room with colorful pillars. Walk straight through the white wall where you will find... Wait, straight through the white wall? I smashed my head on the wall a lot. God dang it. Uh, okay. Now where are we going? Going this way? Oh no, I can't see my OBS screen, so who knows what's going on. Okay. Here we go. We're in Tiny Town. You're well beyond dreaming now, oh my gosh. and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. Shut up. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? You broken chess pieces. Isn't that why you came here? Okay, what do we got? Chess pieces, a water cooler, okay. Oh, oh no. Okay, um. Okay. Okay, so we'll just put it there, and now, interesting. Okay. So I put you here. Can I walk here? Yes. Okay, now I pick you up, and then I fall immediately. Got it. Okay, I know what I must do. Put you there. Pick you up. Nope. <laughs> I don't think these are legal chess moves. Oh, wait. These are queens. Nope. Oh, my gosh. Almost did it again. You almost had me, game. Okay. Here we go. Oh, what is this? Okay.
Okay, so I can put... Oh, and then I can come through. And then there's cheese back here. Okay. Oh, but I can... Okay, so it's the chess piece thing again. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, come on. The game is like perspective is reality until it's not. Ugh. Okay, where are we? Okay, in we go! go maybe hopefully this is the longest episode by far okay I don't know what's going on anymore other than everything gives me a headache uh, it's fine it's fine oh my gosh Fifty-nine a.m. Eight. Oh my gosh, we're loading. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, that was it. No, it wasn't. Why are we back here? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now you may have realized yes, you're so all clever. of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. Ah, oh, come on! You see, everyone who comes to the institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. Okay. But more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face come back in the GTA bunker. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. That's not the problem, so then. We do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. I don't think people go looking for failure. I think people get overwhelmed. Okay? I don't think I don't think there's an amount of introspection and looking at things from a different angle that can help you when you're stuck sometimes because we're human beings and we're social creatures and we need help from other people, and that's what community is about. Not this dig deep into yourself and find the answer thing. Like, we develop community so that we can help each other, so Your we don't have to find and all the solutions to our problems. And Today, to that point, I would say that this game has a very dangerous way of viewing the, the world, in that you just need to look at your possible at first obstacles differently. Box, and sometimes that's the case, but the idea that everything can be solved by a different angle is, um, no, I, uh, I disagree, Glenn. I disagree. No matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, No, Glenn, I, I beat the game not because I kept moving forward, because I had to look it up, okay? Because I thought I already tried a thing. And this game is weirdly inscrutable. And the worst part is, Glenn, is there was a moment where I was going to give this game a very high score and say all sorts of nice things about how it reminded me of the first Portal game and its simplicity, but now it definitely reminds me of the second Portal game and that it is so far up its own butt that it's not as fun as it, the first game. 
some part of you will say that none of this was real. Oh no, so Glenn. It's it real. Really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. That all you've got to do not... is wait up. Okay. I yeah, I have thoughts. I have thoughts, friends. Um but in all of that. Thanks for watching. This has been super liminal. I had a lot of fun in general. And then the last 20 minutes were just really frustrating. Really, really frustrating. Um, and that's okay. That is okay. Um, you can have fun with things even if they don't, uh, you know. Even if they don't always land perfectly. Um, huh. Well, um, let's see here. I'm going to answer a question. And that question is, who made the beginner's guide. Okay. So, the beginner's guide is by Davey Redden. Um, who did the Stanley Parable. And I'm not seeing that this has, like, anything to do with Superliminal. So, I guess I can't jump on that criticism train, but if it was the same guy, it, it, this game has the exact same problems that the Beginner's Guide did. Um, number one. Problem number the first is it is about 20% too long. Problem number the second is that it has a very, like, simplistic view of the world that is very, like, pop psychology um, and ignores how, like, human beings work. Uh, and number three, it just pissed me off at the end. Ta-da! <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm keeping this all in because I went through all of that, and you watched that all. So if you were here at the end of a 50-minute episode of Superliminal that I'm gonna have to, like, remember to cut bits out of, well, thank you. Seriously, um, you being here means a lot, and I absolutely, absolutely appreciate it. So, wherever you are, have a wonderful day, and stay tuned for more from me, Wildweiler. Bye-bye.